Brown here. Abby Chin. Um, Jalen, the team released what you guys are going to be wearing on the backs of your jerseys. I'm not sure if we've spoken to you. What have you chosen, and can you tell us why? Um, uh, before I get started, uh, I want to continue to demand justice for Breonna Taylor. Um, I want that to con continue to be reiterated while I'm down here. Um, also, I want to encourage people in my community to get out and vote, uh, not just for the presidential elections, but state representatives, elected officials, et cetera. I think there's a lot of power in coming together and voting, uh, especially in the black community. Politicians have made empty promises to the black community year after year after year. Uh, and, I, and they think that is okay and acceptable uh, and it's not. So I wanna <laughs> emphasize that we gotta continue to vote. Uh, we gotta come together, use our powder, utilize it in the right manner. And I wanna inspire people in Georgia, where I'm from, Marietta, Gwinnett County, DeKalb County, Boston, Massachusetts, um, Dorchester, Roxbury, Oakland, East Oakland, West Oakland, uh, whoever, uh, wherever my influence reaches, I want um, people to continue to vote. It's a lot of power in exercising that, and we gotta use it uh, for sure. So I wanna uh, continue to emphasize that uh, for sure. We gotta get some of these guys uh, out of office who don't care we don't think it's uh, appropriate that we uh, are trying to end systemic racism. So uh, I want to make voting the trend. I want to use my platform. I want athletes to come together and continue to talk about it uh, while we're here. I understand the apprehension from the, uh, the African-American community. Um, politicians have made empty promises as, as long as, as well as, you know, people feeling like, um, why would I participate in the system? or a political system that hasn't necessarily participated with me. But I believe in small victories and getting those guys, getting the right people in the, in the office, um, a big part of that is, uh, is voting. So um, let's continue to, to express that. Let's continue to lead in that, di in, in that uh, direction. And I wanna uh, use my platform to, to inspire people who are using their influence, whatever, whatever color, whatever race, that voting is important but especially in the black community, let's exercise our power and get out and vote. All right, ask the question again, Abby, I'm sorry. Uh, the team released what you're gonna wear on the back of your jersey. Can you tell us what you're gonna wear and why along these lines? Uh, I don't wanna uh, chime in on it too much yet. I guess uh, we'll see come Friday. I'm still putting a lot of thought into it. It's not uh, for sure decided, um, but uh, one of the things that I uh, participated in choosing is liberation. I felt like the list that we had to choose from was a little bit limited. I expressed that before, um, but liberation was what I chose from that list. Um, I feel like the, uh, the definition of liberation is, um, I guess, <laughs> um, freeing yourself from a form of oppressive, oppression, slavery, and or you know marginalization. And I feel like uh, for me, I wanted to represent that, uh, this, this, uh, I guess this, this, this season and, and uh, try to break free of some of those cycles and some of those change. Question in person for Gary Washburn. Jalen, have you thought about at all what you and your teammates might do prior to Friday's game in terms of making a statement? Will everybody go kind of individual? What, what, what's going into that thing? Uh, just deciding and talking as a team. Um, we're still putting a lot of thought into it, and uh, nothing is completely decided. We definitely want to express ourselves um, in unison together because that's what we are. We are family. We're brotherhood. So, a lot of talk, uh, a lot of talk and discussion is, is still being going back and forth. But, um, hopefully, you know, people understand uh, what we ever we decide to do um, is coming from a place that we're representing our community and people who feel the same way. Jared Weiss. Uh, Jalen, going back to what you were saying about voting, has there been anything from a policy perspective or particular candidates that you wanted to highlight that you think that people should be thinking more about? Um, not necessarily. I think uh, people have a choice to, to choose who they believe in and uh, who they feel represents them in, a, in an appropriate uh, way. 
Uh, I just want to emphasize that voting needs to become a trend because uh, people who we elect have the power to make decisions and, and put in policies that you know some people disagree with. So not just in the, in the presidential candidacy, but our elected officials, our state representatives, people running for governor, mayor, like it's important. They're, they're, in, they're in place in these, these policies and if, and if you don't like them, you gotta vote. So I wanna make that a trend um, amongst athletes to use our platforms to inspire people to get out and vote, uh, in the, and especially in the black community, because I know that isn't necessarily a consistent or common thing, but let's utilize our power and our influence um, to show that you know it's not okay for politicians to make empty promises or anything that um, considered to that. So it's not okay. Question in person for Stephanie Reddy. Kaylin, um, tell me a little bit about the impact that Allison Easter has had on this transition. Allison's been great. Allison's been that uh, person that we can talk to, feel comfortable around, to address things. It's a lot of it's a lot of tension and a lot of uncomfortable conversations that are being had right now. And Allison has been the the, uh, the conduit for a lot of those conversations. Um, sometimes it's hard for players to express themselves. It's a lot of emotions uh, that's involved with the community. It's a lot of emotions that's involved with how they feel and things like that. And a lot of people, and a lot of us get backlash for speaking because uh, we are in a place of privilege, but most of us come from humble beginnings. So just because we reached this place of privilege, why, we should, why should we forget about our our relatives, our friends, people in our community that we grew up around it is unfair. You know, it's, it's interesting how we're held to a certain standard, but some politicians or certain presidents aren't, you know. So I want to continue to uh, use my platform and speak positively on, on things that, you know, I see in my community continue to be a voice for a voiceless. And Allison has been a, a great person to help us in that process. Last couple of questions, John Corrales. Jalen, uh, the NBA players, the WNBA, have rallied around the cause justice for Breonna Taylor. Can you explain a little more deeply why, um, why this has become a rallying point? What, what is the most important aspect of this? Why, why this is the message that, that you want to enhance? Because it's important. I don't think it's uh, it should even be a, a question, to be honest, why it's important to us. Like, we all come from our moms. You know, we all have sisters, aunts, nieces, and et cetera. So um, not just with African-Americans not feeling comfortable in this American society, it's a lot of women um, who don't feel comfortable as well. We want to show our, continue to show our support with them uh, for sure. So I got a, a, a call with Tamika Palmer which is Breonna Taylor's mother, not too long ago. And it was, it was, it was emotional for, uh, for me. Um, the fact that she can get on a call with a bunch of NBA guys and, and utilize her strength um, in front of us. Like we know she was hurting. We know like that was her baby girl that's gone. Like her daughter was killed, you know, and for her to be able to get on the phone call, exhibit that strength in front of us and, and, and rally us up and let us know that we don't want this to happen to the next girl or the next person of color or woman of color, um, I stand with her. Um, I can't, I have, a, I have a mom, I have nieces, I have, and so do the rest of us NBA players. So it's hard listening to that and not feeling some type of way. And I think the rest of America is like, or certain, not the rest of America, but some people in America are like, uh, oh well, like she lost her life. Um, police were doing her job, oh well. Um, and this is not an oh well moment for us. So we're gonna continue to, to emphasize justice for Breonna Taylor. I'm gonna continue to emphasize voting, especially in the black community, utilizing our power um, to come together for things that we believe in, and, I, and I'm not going to be quiet. Final question for Jalen, Gary Washburn. You were born in 96, so a lot of things happened before you were born, but you have always been aware of the community and what's going on in the world. What kind of things have you learned or had to read up on and research 
over the last couple of months that you kind of maybe enlightened you about certain things that have happened, events? Uh, what kind of things have you learned? Uh, I'm okay. That's a great question. That's a really good question, actually. I'm a, I, I proud myself in my research and trying to come up here in front of you guys and be as thoughtful as I can. Um, but there's definitely um, things that need to be addressed. Um, I, I, I do a lot of research. I read a lot. I've taken classes on this, and I, I try to uh, be considerate of how people feel. But at the same time, there's things that need to be addressed, and there's issues in this country that are being sidelined. Um, the way this, this America was kind of designed, um, it wasn't designed inclusively. Um, it was designed for a specific group of people. Um, I know that kind of makes people feel uncomfortable to say that, um, but as it's not hard to believe that fast forward, I mean, rewind maybe a hundred years ago, not less than a hundred years ago, it was illegal for me, somebody that looked like me to read and write. It was illegal for somebody that looked like me to be in some places after six. Um, this is less than 70 years ago, right? So now you fast forward to now, it's not too hard to, to, to believe that, you know, there's still some systemic effects um, that have, you know, have came to light how this country was designed. So I believe in reform. I believe in that we have to, we have to do policy change. And, I, and I, I don't want history to kind of repeat itself. And that's kind of what things is. So I just want to continue to use my platform. I'm only one person, um, but I want to continue to use my platform and hopefully inspire others. To, to make the right decisions and to treat each other equally. And, and when I say equally, I mean it not um, in a pacified way, in a way that truly means equality. Thank you, Jalen.